Hi, welcome to Low Code Lab, my name is Martin Camacho. In today's video we are going to teach you how to send an email using an HTML template with embedded images. So let's get started. The first step is to create our template, I will use this page where you can find templates for any theme, unlayer, com slash templates. Select the free section, and search for the password word. The interface is quite simple to use, just select the template and start editing. Let's replace the images with my own. Remember that in order to add dynamic information your template must contain labels. We add them using three hash signs. I will replace this URL with my YouTube channel URL. Since this is just an exercise and not really functional, I won't edit it much further. Remove these images so that the template is cleaner, we will leave only one image, although when downloading the template an extra one will be added automatically. The download of your template is done through an email, where they will send you a download link. In the downloaded zip there is only an HTML file, and the folder where the images are. We cannot send these images as an email attachment, so we must convert them to base64. Unzip the file and edit it with Notepad++, or any other text editor. When searching by the name of the images, we can see that we have only two of them. We will replace this part with the base64 code. In this exercise we will see two ways to display the images, using base64 and with a URL. Using this base64 image page, we will encode the images. Just drag them and copy the generated code. Find image number 2 and replace all the content in source with the generated code. For image 1, go to Google, select any image, copy its web address and replace the source again. Create a new document from the HTML file. Create a new process. Look for the email node. The configuration will be for a custom sender. Sender email can be whatever you want. For the receiver we create a multiple process variable. Select your HTML template. Appian automatically recognizes the labels. The next step is to fill the variable of the containers. To show you the differences in their behavior, I will use two email accounts, one Gmail and the other Hotmail. I forgot to mention a little detail, you must cast the recipients using the function to email address. Run the process and go to your inbox. I am showing my Gmail, in this case it does not display any images, 
We can fix this by clicking on display images below. The URL image is displayed correctly, however the base64 one is not. This is because Gmail does not support this format. Otherwise in Hotmail, it supports both images without problem. If you know that your recipient is Gmail, I recommend using URLs, although this is a bit more complicated since you must save your image in the cloud. If your recipient uses Outlook, I recommend Base64 unless you save the generation of the URL of your images, especially if your image is custom or your own creation. If you like this video subscribe and give me a like, I take this opportunity to make a brief announcement, I am organizing an Appian Level 1 online course, if you are interested, you can contact me and I will gladly send you the details, we start on Monday, March 13th. However the course is in Spanish. See you next time.